me? Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. Nate has been waiting <laughs> a long time for this. I hope he's not so busy that he won't be able to uh, to join the stream here because he has been requesting this and wanting this for quite a while. And uh, yeah, we're finally we're finally doing it. Excited for me to try, yep. And uh, we're getting ready to now, sir. So, uh, okay, we got our options menu. Is there anything we need to mess with in here? It, uh, there we are, okay. So we have audio, camera, control, gameplay. Gameplay, everything looks fine, advanced. Full screen, V-Sync, uh, let's do a high quality. Hey, Mr. Noodle with a five bit cheer. Thank you, love. I appreciate it. Oh, and by the way, if any of the elements of the stream get too much in the way, let me know and I can move them around. I've never played this game on stream before or at all for that matter. So I wasn't 100% certain where laying everything out would be best at. Um, so I will, I will, I'll move it around if need be. I mostly left everything where I normally keep it just kind of, uh, kind of uh, got rid of like the the over the background elements and whatnot that would have made it a higher uh that make it harder to see <laughs> whatever um uh, okay so i'm not going to restart the game to get the extra shadow distance but we'll turn everything else up there um, make sure that all looks pretty decent i should pull up there we go Make sure I have that pulled up so I can ensure that everything looks okay there on that side. There we are. Okay. What the heck do bits do? Bits are just a way to donate money to people, uh, essentially. So you, you buy them from Twitch, and then you donate them to whatever streamer you like, and the streamer gets one penny per bit essentially, you know, give or take. Um, and then Twitch gets their cut by selling you the bits. It's uh, it's completely optional, though. It's not required in any way. There are some things that you can unlock, although I don't have all that stuff 100% set up right now. So in, in my personal opinion, not really worth it to, to donate to my stream. But, uh, <laughs> but there are some channels that have, like, cool rewards and stuff set up already that you can get for... Uh, for bit donations. Yeah, yeah, a penny per bit is what the the rate is. And I think they charge there's they have a lot of sales and stuff on bits, but I think they charge roughly 2 pennies per bit if I remember correctly. Um let's just start a new game, I suppose. Let's just uh, get right into it. I don't see any reason to uh, dawdle any longer. All right, so we get to choose our difficulty. We have a uh, chicken, a hero in training, play fable anniversary how it was originally. Heroic. This is the true test for real heroes. Not only are resurrection files no longer in the game, but the enemies are far tougher and health potions more scarce. Hero, your health will be low. Well, we'll play it on chicken, I suppose, just because I've never played it before. So, yeah. If, if you're returning to the game, I feel like heroic would be a good option. But we're going to do chicken, I guess, for better or for worse. This feels like a game that may be better to play with a controller, too, but... Uh, Oh, well. We're already set up with keyboard and mouse, so... <laughs> Chicken! Chicken's delicious, especially when put in Alfredo. <laughs> I can do normal? That's good, because that's what I'm doing, is normal. Oh, I don't have audio set up. Ah! Uh, I hope that pauses the, uh, the thing there. Because uh, I forgot to turn on audio for the stream. Everybody needs to hear. Does that pause the game? Unchanged by time? Yes. And untouched by the sword. Come on, wake up. Daydreaming again, were you? Just like your mother. Mind always... Okay, so that's a little too loud. Let's turn it down a bit, and then what we're going to do, since we're literally at the beginning of the game... I'm just going to restart so we can get that opening cutscene again, because it seemed to kind of skip it. So we're just going to skip through all this, and then just go to uh, quit. Yep, exit the game. And then we'll just start a new game. 
it is easier with controller in your opinion i should have my controller charged as long as it will take it i can go ahead and turn it on and play that way if that's what you think uh it is taking it good so i'll uh i'll probably start with keyboard and mouse but if it ends up being a pain then i will uh yeah i'll try it with the the other one okay so another new hero <laughs> we want to delete the original actually just just delete both and then new game there we go perfect It's easier with controller. I'm not going to lie. You thought that was a girl on the title screen. I Can you play as either or? Or no? I thought you could play as either or. Deep in the forest of Albion, lay the small town of Oakvale, unchanged by time and untouched by the sword. Here lived a boy and his family, a boy dreaming of greatness, of one day being a hero. Sometimes he imagined himself as a noble knight or a powerful wizard. And other times he dreamt he'd be an evil warrior. But in all his dreams of greatness, he could not possibly imagine the power of the destiny that lay before him. I'm pretty sure you can in an anniversary. If not, it's the only one you can't. Uh, okay, well, Just like your mother. maybe then. Always wandering. Well, let it wander off to find your sister, will you? She's out playing by the Barrow Fields Gate. Remember, you haven't given her a birthday present yet. Don't tell me you forgot to get her one. Well, I'm not bailing you out this time, son. Hmm. I tell you what, I'll give you a gold piece for each good deed you do around Oak. That should be enough to buy her a present. Now, get moving and stay out of trouble. Okay, so yeah, it looks like we are stuck to playing a, a boy in this one here. Talk to the people marked on your map with a green dot. They have something interesting to say and will highlight green when you approach them. Press tab to talk to a highlighted person. Tab? Really? That feels odd. You must only be boy in this one. Yeah, that's what it looks like. But I mean, that's that's fine. Whatever. Um, I need to do one thing real quick before we continue. I need to turn off the Steam overlay because I do not want that popping up constantly. Turn that off. And then let's just go offline. Offline. We'll see if stuff keeps popping up. If stuff d does keep popping up, then we'll, uh, we'll restart the game to properly get rid of it. If not, then yeah. Can tell it's been a little while since I've streamed an actual PC game. I've been doing nothing but <laughs> PS2, and uh, that's about it <laughs> in a long time. So, gotta get back into the swing of things here with a, a PC game. All right, so so far it looks like the the menu is in a pretty decent spot. It's not covering anything too important. Just uh, the gold countdown in the bottom there, but I think we'll be okay there. All right, so we had somebody right here in the front. Oh, that feels weird. Oh no, yeah, I don't don't like the way the mouse feels here. Uh, not load game. Options, camera. Okay, normal, normal. Keyboard and mouse. All right, you know what? That's why we turned on the controller, I suppose, right? Oh, okay. So we had to and change the controls from keyboard and mouse to traditional. That's cool. There's also Fable two and three. Controls, that's nice as well. But we'll just do uh we'll do traditional, I suppose. Yeah, that feels a bit better. I think I, I think I agree with you on this one here, Nate. Controller is better in this game specifically. Right, so there's a chicken. I don't think we can do anything with the chicken. Why is the camera so close? Oh. <laughs> okay, it doesn't seem like we can interact with anything. Oh. There we go. I see a green dot on the map. Is she or he, whoever that person was we saw earlier, around the way here, maybe? What is, what is going on with the camera? Why is it, like, so close to us? What is going on? Uh, 
interact camera slash expand map. Oh, that's okay. That's kind of nice. Oh, I see. So you can't actually move the camera up and down. You can only move it closer or farther away. That's why I kept getting so close. Okay, so we just want to leave it pulled away. I was just, um, I'm, I've never even met this woman. Who is she? Oh, that seems rude. Look, Sonny, keep your mouth shut about this, right? My wife's at home with our little ones, and I'm supposed to be working. Is this... A man should be entitled to do what he likes, don't you think? I mean, that's not really how that works. If you keep this little secret, I'll give you a gold piece. So you'll give me a gold piece for doing a bad deed, but if I do a good deed, then my dad will give me one anyways, right? I can't let her find out about this. Not if you're married, sir. <laughs> yeah, so... Where's the wife? <laughs> Just instantly. Go tell on him right away. I see it looks like we got a little meter up in the corner showing if we're seen or not. So I assume that's kind of like uh, Fallout and, and Elder Scrolls games and stuff like that. So do we just tell Braum or... Some good reports about your behavior. Nope, okay. So I guess we'll just keep going around town. Is there a uh, dash button or anything? Mm, doesn't seem like it. Thankfully, I mean, we're not too slow. I like the way the game looks, though. I know this is a uh, updated, like graphically has been updated from the original. Um, but I mean, so far I like the way it looks. I heard some people complaining kind of about it not having the same sort of character that the original had, but I like it so far. She certainly deserves better than that guy. Yeah, it seems like it. Lost Rosie. So I'm guessing Rosie is her stuffed animal. Yeah. Sounds like Mr. Noodle all of a sudden. <laughs> okay. So if we find her, we can bring it back. If we find Rosie, we can bring it back to the little girl. Hello, lad. I'm a trader. I wander the world buying and selling wares, especially to find folk like your good self. Yeah, I have like zero dollars. So girl I saw said you have a sister, and it's her birthday. Can yeah, unless your shit's free, though, then... Oh. Three gold pieces, so we need to do at least... I mean, no, not yet. Okay, well, I mean, we have zero, so I can't buy them from you even if I really did want to, sir. And there's no way for us to open this, right? Oh, okay, so there's a little thing in the corner there. Ah, so we can run. We can hold B to run. Very nice. Okay, so B's run. S X is a uh, uh, fist, and I guess triangle is defense or, or roll, whatever the situation commands. Very nice. All right, I need some more people that are going to light up in green. You, you there. Oh, I might know where your husband is. Yeah, actually about that. I run his house, bring up his children, and what do I get in return? Nothing. If you find him, let me know, won't you? I think I may have found him, actually. Uh, <laughs> never shame a girl on her bear. You have your red eye buried with. Uh, yes. Well, Mr. Noodle, that's... Yeah, she has a bear, too. Um, the entire... That she's had, like, basically her entire life. And it, it got so, like, worn down because she sleeps over the, every single night. And it's gotten so worn down that we actually had to get her... A, uh, a replacement one for that's exactly the same it's exactly the same bear and we got a replacement for it we kept the original two of course because that one will always have sentimental value to mr noodle but yeah so i i completely understand <laughs> i don't have something to tell you about that uh <laughs> tell the woman about her cheating husband yeah right i'm gonna turn him into balverine food <laughs> thank you Young sir, for telling me. You're welcome. You performed your first good deed. Remember, talk to your father to receive your reward. All right, well, that was easy enough. There's one. Who else can we talk to? Oh, no. Can we follow? Can we see what happens? I want to see. Is she going to, like, yell at him? Is she actually going to turn him into balverine food, whatever the hell that is? 
Yeah, can you though? Oh, is it just repeat? It just repeats, okay. That's great though. I'm glad that she actually like chases him down and that we can go and listen in to what's happening and whatnot. That's cool. It's a nice touch. I like little things like that. And right, let's go the other way here and of course uh, keep our eye out for a little teddy bear while we're at it. Maybe there will be uh, something in the, the room here. I don't know why it would be here, but these books belong to our parents. They don't look interesting. It's just father's clothes. Old blankets. Are these our books then? Sister's diary. Harvest day 15. Mother is away again. She never tells us where. I think father is a little sad when she goes. Harvest day 18. I had that nightmare again last night. There's a big room. And right in the middle of it, there's a big swooshing light that feels like it's going to suck me in. I still couldn't see what was in the middle of it. I don't think I ever want to. Day 19, I had another dream. I was opening birthday presents, and I was so happy. Then something happened, and it was so horrible it woke me up. I think that part was only a dream, though. Harvest Day 21, it's my birthday today. I bet my brother forgets again, but at least mother will be back. I got up early to look out over the sea, and now I'm going to play in the top field. Very cool. Okay, so I, I'm assuming that she has some sort of premonition, and it's actually today's going to turn to, uh, to crap around the time she's opening her presents. I, I think that's probably a pretty safe assumption. <laughs> okay, so let's go back towards town first before we go that other direction over there. Because it looks like there's something we can do down here, maybe. What's uh what's going on here? <laughs> These kids look very strange. Had yours since third grade. He was in good condition till your mom brought a dog home. And him twice. You've never felt more rage at something ever. I just sew him up myself. He's not perfect in the sewed up sense, but I love him. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that happened. That sucks. But yeah, I, I can understand why you would have kept a hold of it, though, regardless. That's terrible, though. You'll only be able to hit characters when they have a red highlight. To attack a non-hostile character, you must lock onto them by pulling and holding the left trigger and then pressing X. Yeah, that's right. Thank you. You stopped too good. Thank you. Ah, oh, it's my pleasure, little one. I'll let you look after Rosie. She'll be safe with you. Ooh! You had Rosie? So not only did we collect Rosie from, from him, but then we also got another good deed because we, we saved him from the bully, right? So that should be all we need for the chocolates. But of course, I imagine we can do more and get more gold. Maybe we can find an even better present for our sister. Where is the little girl? Where'd she go? Maybe she's over here running around somewhere. So I see two, two uh, green dots over here. Maybe. Listen, lad, could you do me a favor? Depends, what do you need? To, you know, answer the call of nature. Oh, stay here and watch this stock for me. There's a good lad. Yeah, I suppose I could do that. Just stand between those two stacks and don't move. I'll put a good word in for you when I get back. Right. Okay. What? So we just gotta we just gotta stand here and don't move? My cousin says that the barrels in these warehouses might have stuff in them. Like what? Quick, while he's away, smash his barrels up and see what's inside. No. Unless you're too scared. Unless you're just a big blubbing girl. Why would you do that? Let's go and break stuff. No. <laughs> like a lemon, like a lemon. Yes. Yes, I am. But being good is so boring. <laughs> you Sir, can you just not use your own toilet? Or is this before the time of toilets? I mean, it very well may be. <laughs> I haven't seen one yet. I went around our house, and I didn't see a toilet anywhere in there. I think that's the girl I'm looking for over there, too. I don't think I should 
hit the kid. That doesn't <laughs> doesn't sound like a good idea. Fine. Have your stupid good deed then. That's the plan. Wouldn't you prefer to No. Nope. Not smashing anything. Just gonna stand here while that dude comes right up back. Excellent. End the child. <laughs> Just Robo Man has no chill, or Roo Man has no chill. Excellent, thanks, lad. You've done me a big favor. I'll let your dad know. Thanks, man. Got another good deed? Okay. And then you. You want uh, your Rosie back, right? Yeah, give the teddy to the girl. Another good deed. Awesome. We're going to have uh, riches in no time at all, man. I am tempted to smash the barrels, though. Like, <laughs> I do kind of want to know what's inside them. I just... I didn't want to be that guy, either. You know? I'd be so mad in real life if I asked somebody, that, Hey, do you mind watching my things for me while I use the bathroom? And then they just broke all my stuff. Like... Be pissed. It's not what I want. Can't do that to someone else. But now that he's back, I guess it's not all that bad, right? Because, like... He's there. I'm not watching his things for him anymore. So if I smash him, then, uh, you know, it was, it was an accident. Maybe I tripped. I don't know. <laughs> Hi, Teresa. What do you need? Hello, little brother. Oh, that's my I sister. I haven't forgotten what day it is, like you did last year. I'm sorry if I woke you up last night. It was another of those dreams. I was standing in this field when something happened. But I can't remember what. Never mind that, though. I'm still waiting for my present. Yep. It's definitely a premonition. That's definitely what happened. <laughs> One way or another, things are about to go down. And it seems as though the only present I can really get is... The, uh... The chocolates. Because I did all of the green dots. The big blinking yellow thing is probably my dad paying me. And then the only green dot left, I'm pretty sure, is the guy that will sell me well, chocolate. Here's your reward for those good deeds. Well, I think you may have enough there, son. Have you spoken to the trader? I have. You now have enough money to buy a present for your sister. The money symbol on your map shows the location of the person, object, or place you should go to next. Okay, so that's like an objective thing. Okay, that's fair. And yeah, that replaced the green dot. So that is indeed what that was. As I suspected. Hello, trader. Uh, I hear you have chocolates. I've still got these sweets. Quickly, give me three gum. Can I barter? <laughs> like, <laughs> wish your sister a happy birthday from me now, won't you? Uh, info. What do we got? Who can resist such sweet meats? Sweet meats? Are they? Wait. <laughs> Are they actually chocolates, or... <laughs> I... Hmm. Now I'm just thinking of what a, like, chocolate-covered piece of steak would taste like, and it's, uh... It's not a pleasant... Thought. <laughs> it, uh... Doesn't sound great to me, to be honest. So, let's hope, uh, by sweet meats, he just, he just means sweets. Maybe it said treats? Oh, maybe. Maybe. I, uh, I do mix up my letters sometimes, because <laughs> meats would be... I'm guessing your keyboard messed up there again. <laughs> Weird keyboard, yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> I thought that's uh, maybe what you meant there. <laughs> Give the chocolates to our sister. Got it. Come on, let's go home. Mother will be back for my party any minute now. Okay, well, things didn't go to hell yet, so may Wait, spoke too early. There's something wrong. Bandits! Oh, that's really not a terrible thing to see when you're a kid. Just hide behind the tiny little gate. Yeah, nobody will ever see us here. That's brutal. 
Run, children, run. Please. Is the sister okay? Evil had come to Oakvale. Bandits wielding torches and steel, slaying and burning all in their path. Blood red flames lit the night as the villagers screamed and begged for mercy. And soon their bodies filled the streets. Then the raiders reached the last house where the boy and his family lived. It was then they had slaughtered so many to find. The father fought to protect his kin, but he was no warrior and fell mortally. Holy wounded. crap, dude. The bandits ripped the house apart, but could not find the boy. Honestly, like that fence had some through clearly visible holes in it. His mother and sister remained silent, and their furious attackers took them both. From the nearby woods, the boy watched as all he knew was taken away. His whole life was crushed to ashes. He was alone. I'd say, uh, that's a start to a game right there. <laughs> a crab alone survivor story, essentially, yeah. Crazy, okay. I, uh... Oh man, my phone's, like, dead. I need to plug my phone in real quick before it dies. Give me, uh, give me just one moment to get it plugged in here. And actually, I, I didn't realize that it's been about 30 minutes anyway so uh we're gonna take just a a quick like minute minute and a half break while i uh i plug in my phone and i, I guess stretch and whatnot that past half hour went quick because i don't like it what are you talking oh you mean your giant hoodie i don't have a problem with your giant hoodie you weirdo <laughs> I really want to see what the brave face is now, but collecting 70 cookies, man, that'll just take all day. Especially when these cookies fly halfway across the world like that. I never told you I hated it. You're making things up. <laughs> She's a liar, everybody. You can't believe a word she says. Unless it's something good she says about me, then it's true. But otherwise, no. Just telling fibs. I really like this world, man. This one looks so much better than the last one. And, like, the last one looked good. Don't get me wrong. The Candyland one for Boo. But this cardboard one, this is my jam. I really like this. I'm just jealous of your big hoodie. You caught me. That's what it is, man. I wish I had a, a hoodie that you could fit three of me in. <laughs> is there anything over here? Secrets, maybe? Nope. What is this? The way was blocked by a rock drawn in pencil and charcoal. Perhaps erasing it would be enough. Yo, do we have anything to erase with? No. This no, we don't have an eraser. I need an eraser. I need to erase that rock. I want to see what's on the other side of that dark forest. I'm sure it won't be anything scary at all. Yo, that half lump don't even see us, though. Oh, that one does. That's all right. We're gonna we're gonna raspberry you so bad, man. You're gonna wish you didn't come all up in our. In our personal space here. I mean, never mind. We're gonna show you our, our possessed demon face instead. That'll work too, I guess. Okay. Need to. I noticed that the uh, the chat was getting on top of the uh, subtitle, so I'm gonna move it up just a little bit over here on the side. 
And then also just to make my life a little bit easier, I went ahead and put it in windowed mode. So there's gonna be a tiny border on the top and the bottom. I can probably, I don't think it'll really make it look all that weird, to be honest, if I scale it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and scale. Let me set that up real quick. Okay, and grab that again there like that, and then going to scale the image a little bit. Or not, properties. Uh, it might be fine. I might not be scaling it. And then that scaling turned on. Yeah, it's probably fine. I have to set the scale, but it's not. Oh, there it is. Stretch. That's the one I was looking for. Stretch, not scale. So, I mean, it might be a tiny bit off, but I don't think it's really going to be all that noticeable, to be honest with you. All right. So hopefully now that'll be a little bit better. Um, During the cutscene, yeah, I just noticed that the chat was covering up the the subtitles and I, I want everybody to be able to uh, to read or hear or however they prefer to enjoy their content. So I just wanted to get that moved out of the way. And then by going into windowed mode, it just makes it easier for me to hop in and out if I need to make any changes to audio levels or pull up something on stream or, or whatever the case may be. <clears throat> but let's get back into it now. We have dilly dallied. We are done with all of that. Oh, there's black borders on the sides. That's gonna bother me. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Let's just uh, let's just cut that real quick too, shall we? That won't take but a moment though. Just add a crop and crop off the left side a little bit until we get to about there. Yeah, it, it's fine with the, the black borders on the sides. I don't think it was really going to bother anybody but me, to be honest. But <laughs> I wanted to get that fixed. So there we go. That's better. Get rid of that. And then, uh, okay. Yeah, we definitely dilly-dallied enough now. So let's uh, let's get back into it, shall we? Let's see. So we're going back to our home now. I suppose, oh, just, just bodies burning in the streets. You know, no big deal. As you, as you, as you do. Uh... <laughs> Could you imagine? This is such a terrible thing for a child, man. This is actually kind of brutal. Your entire village murdered. Everything on fire. Like... Even amounts. Yeah, I try to to control that. Because like with RPG games and whatnot, it can be impossible to have everything even. But I naturally want to do that as well. Probably has something to do with that anxiety and everything that... Yeah. And the, uh, the connections with OCD that come from that. I don't have, like, proper OCD disorder, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to say that I do. But I definitely have some tendencies connected to my uh, anxiety. It's not safe here. Ooh, saved by a wizard? You don't want to join them, do you? Then give me your hand. Is he going to give us some uh, some sort of magical abilities or something like that? Or just teleport us. That works too. <laughs> demon doors were built to protect all manners of secrets. If you can satisfy a demon door, it may choose to let you through. And the game crashed. Cool. <laughs> Very nice. Pure virtual function being called something another. <laughs> Excellent. Love it. Okay. Well... 
let's uh let's launch the game back up again. It, luckily, this game does have auto save, so hopefully we'll be uh right back in it. <laughs> You're starting to think it's Twitch, not your keyboard. I'm not sure if that's a good thing, like if if it's better for it to be that way or worse, to be honest with you. Uh, either way, that is that is rough. Okay, properties. Everything's updated on my end and whatnot, right? Yeah, okay. Make sure I don't have anything strange going on here with the game. Let's get it launched back up. Okay, that indicates our game's being saved. Very cool. There we are. All right. Your laptop is kind of crappy. It's a refurbished one. You've been using it for three years. So, eh, he's a little worn, huh? Hey, I mean, if it's still working, then it's still good. I uh, I have an old laptop that I purchased a long time ago that I still use for things here and there. I use my old desktop as a as a server just to back up files and stuff too. Like, throwing it away isn't helping anybody. So, I like to reuse old tech. You saw it type everything out this time. Yeah, I mean, and Twitch was having some issues today because um, Amazon Web Services went down. I thought you'd have a stronger stomach than that. Come on. Save your energy, boy. It's not me you want to fight. You might not realize it, but I just saved your life. There's nothing left for you in Oakvale. And if you'd stayed, you'd be as dead as the rest of them. Come with me. I mean, a little brutal maybe with his honesty there, but I get it. My name is Maze, and I'm the a bit head of a load of there too. Heroes. You must have heard of it. You'll find nowhere safer in all of Albion, nor a better place to call your home. And if it's vengeance you want, you'll need the training only we can offer. Cool, cool. Okay. Here we are. I'll introduce you to the Guildmaster. He'll be your guide from now on. Oh, a CRT monitor. Heck yeah. Those are good for playing like retro games and stuff on though. It'd be a little awkward to have one on your desk these days, but I have a new it works though. You. Put him in the dorm upstairs with the girl. You don't look much like hero material to me, but Maze knows what he's doing, I suppose. Well, follow me then. Just slyly diss us like that. Like, ah, oh, you don't look like no hero to me, son. Uh, <laughs> like, man, I'm just trying my best over here. Come on. You'll be sharing this room with Whisper, one of our brightest young pupils. She's playing in the woods right now, but you'll meet her in the morning. For now, you should get some sleep. Your training starts tomorrow. Very rude, IMO. <laughs> just watched everyone I've ever known die, and y'all are just like, ah, you look like crap, kid. You're never going to be anything. <laughs> what? It's time to wake up. You must be my roommate. Hmm. Shorter than I expected. My name's Whisper. I've been here for a month. Had the room to myself till now, too. But that's all right. You know you talk in your sleep. Sounded like a bad nightmare. Yeah. I to a lot the first week. Some don't even last that long. You won't either if you don't get moving. The guildmaster is waiting for us in the map room. You don't want to be late on your first day. Follow me. Wait, should I be scared? People don't even last a week around here? Do they, like, choose to leave? Or do they, like, just, are they no longer here with us? <laughs> Looks like the guildmaster got tired of waiting for you. He's probably at the training grounds across the river. Let's go. Okay. Uh. Oh, did not save our controls. Might not have saved our controls. No, it didn't. Okay. Well, that's easy enough to fix. Is everything else 
Set right though, yes. Good, good. Okay, so there's some green dots that we can interact with too though. Is they uh anything interesting or or should we actually not make the guildmaster wait? Can I interest you in something? Older, you can buy stuff here. Oh, okay. Well, it's no good to us right now. Pretty sure he's remembering everyone's death dude, not a nightmare. Yeah. Yeah, or a nightmare about the events like Either way, not pleasant. It's a cool little garden area here. And what are these? I thought it was like actually shimmering. I thought it was like a magical veil or something like that. But now just gold. I'm the fastest apprentice in this guild. I ran to the demon door and back in 50 seconds. Beat that. Where's the demon door? Right then. Get to the demon door and back and talk to me in... Where, where's the demon? Oh, right over here. Oh, I should probably actually be running. <laughs> that would probably help. Oh, wait, no, this isn't the demon door. Where's the demon door? I have no idea what we're doing. Uh, you know what? Let's just talk to the dude. I imagine we'll be able to do more stuff later in this area. All right, lad. It's time to see if you've any potential. Get in the ring has a rough start story-wise that's for sure it doesn't seem that bad of a start if i wasn't screwing around so much either it would probably get through it a lot faster pull and hold the left trigger to target the dummy use l to circle around your target press x to attack okay that's cool oh you meant like brutal yeah i got you <laughs> what was I doing? Just just hit him with a stick. Equip it. What do we got? Damage 20. Noah it has a value of 5. I hope that's not gold pieces. Because, like, <laughs> that's a lot of value for a stick, man. Right button to equip the stick and then attack the dummy as before. Well, I mean, I already kind of equipped the stick, but... Oh, okay. Well, you can just make rude noises. Oh... Okay, so once your weapon's equipped, you can pull it out. I gotcha. The stick of power. <laughs> yes, look at it shake. <laughs> ah, now that's more like it. When you destroy an enemy like this dummy, it drops an experience orb. These orbs contain the knowledge gained from killing the creature. Wait, that was a real life creature that I killed? Orbs, or you won't learn anything. Now pick it up. <laughs> pick up the life, life essence of the creature you just murdered, child. <laughs> Game starts kind of slow but fun. You're in tutorial and goes through stages of life in a way. Is this available on console? It's available, yes. They are console games, actually, originally. Um, I don't know if the Anniversary Edition, which is the one I'm playing specifically, is. But the original is Fable. That's an Xbox game. And then Fable... Two and three, Nate. Correct me if I'm wrong. Our Xbox 360 games. Starting your training. Rewards: Kill the beetles infesting the guild woods. Okay, well we can do that. Boast, no boast taken. You're starting a new quest. Adding a quest card to your inventory. Details of your current objectives can be seen at any time by pressing the back button. Use the markers on your map to guide you through the quest. Region exit marks indicate the route to your next objective. Cool. Okay. My select button's a little stuck, so that sucks, but that's fine. Yes, the original Xbox for this one. Like I said, this is an updated version on PC that may or may not be available on um, console. I'm not sure. But during your final exams, you suggest visiting each, aiming for top. And yes, Anniversary is available on 360 along with 2 and 3. Okay. Also backwards compatible for Xbox One. Very nice. Use the to scroll through your inventory. A to select an option and B to go back to the previous menu. Pressing back at any time will take you back. Okay, so we got what we got here. We got a uh, we can't go to the stat screen right now. It doesn't look like or no, we're on the stat screen. Okay, and then we can go through. No, we're on equipment. Okay, so I guess we we can't go to stats right now. That's fine. Whatever weapons so that's all and then different types okay money bag or we're mr money bags over here we got our quest skill training 
Remain at the guild, learning the abilities you need to graduate as a hero and do your stuff. Kill the beetles. Can we select a specific one? No, but you can zoom into it. All right, that's good enough. What was the, the other screen here? Oh, completed quests, current and completed. I'll be dipped. <laughs> hey, Jet Set Radio, that's a very fun game though. I never beat it. I've only gone through probably the first, uh, what, three gangs maybe? Two or three gangs? I remember getting to like this very large city and that being the farthest I got in it. But uh, it's, it's one of the many, many games that I've always wanted to get back to and play more of, but never never got around to. Trade items are ideal for trading. Buy them cheap and then try to sell them to shopkeepers or wandering traders to make a tidy profit so we can play the stock market. <laughs> okay. And then we're back to equipment. So that's all we can see for now. Nice. So we need to find out where this demon door is to do this race. So we can we can do fart and we can we can laugh. I imagine people will react rudely if we do rude things, right? You have no idea how many people don't even know about it, even though it's a treasure. Honestly, though, it really is. Uh, started on the the Dreamcast and then came to the original Xbox. It was one of the few games that I had for the Xbox that I, I really, really enjoyed. That and there was a Lord of the Rings game. And then, of course, the original Halo. And uh, oh, and there was a Magic the Gathering game that I had it on on it as well. It was a uh, it was pretty interesting. But everything else growing up, I pretty much played on, you know, Nintendo stuff on the GameCube, of course. But then uh, PS2 was my console of choice. So, can we uh, can we learn about archery? Not yet. Well, that dude almost shot us. Look at that, man. Okay, that's gross, little dude. <laughs> yeah, a little, a little crude there. Can we uh, can we pick this up? A cooking apple. An apple a day keeps the reaper away. Okay. You haven't killed all the beetles yet. I haven't killed any. You can't expect to train as a hit. Fair enough. Let's go out to the guild woods. It's available on PS3. Might be on PS4 through the PlayStation Store. Very cool. I have to bust out my PS3 here one of these days and look at it. Although I do have a Dreamcast, so I could always just purchase it for the uh, for the Dreamcast, I suppose. Mm -hmm. I sadly do not have an original Xbox anymore. The disk drive went out on mine, and then uh, normally I don't throw out consoles or anything, but I did sadly have a house fire when I was a teenager and uh, lost most of the stuff that I had uh, in the house. But nobody was harmed in any way, so that's all you can really ask for at the end of the day, I suppose. Um, but yeah, so no longer have my original Xbox. I plan on getting one someday. But it is kind of at the bottom of my list of game consoles to collect. Because as I mentioned, there was only a small handful of games that I really played on the, the Xbox. Most of them I played on PS2, GameCube, etc. Ouch. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. It was, a, it was a long time ago. No point dwelling on it. It's a little weird that you actually had to pick up the experience points. It's not that big of a deal or anything. It's just a little odd. Makes me think of a uh, Minecraft, I guess. <laughs> Ooh, I'm assuming we can fish at some point based off of that little uh, that little uh, disturbance in the water there. Jaya, uh, I like me some fishing mini games, so I hope that is the case. Secrets? Nope, nothing. All right, well, Gale and Master, we killed all the dudes. Can you please give us some food now, sir? <laughs> I did your, your murderous trials. Please don't oh, kick me out of your club. Those beetles can be a damn nuisance. Here, I think you've earned yourself some pocket money for that. If you want more gold, I'm sure the servants could use your help with something. Or you can get an early night. Do you wish to leave your childhood behind and begin apprentice training? Not yet. When you're ready. I'm not in a rush. Look tired after killing those beetles i would like to explore a little bit i don't even know what this place looks like yet where anything is is that more fruit another cooking apple i'm starting to assume that one of the uh the the people that he said we can help are gonna want apples since we're able to go around collecting them i feel like that's something that we're gonna end up doing 
And then, of course, that one dude wanted us to race him. People of Albion like nothing more than hiding their treasure inside wooden chests. You will also find special silver key chests. Sorry, I had to clear my throat. Around the world. To open one, you'll need the correct number of silver keys. Okay. Fair enough. Another apple. Might as well collect that for whatever reason. Ah, uh, is that the devil door? I bet you that's the devil door. Can I talk to you? You just discovered our demon door, whatever. These ancient guardians were built to protect all manner of secrets. If you can satisfy a demon door, it may choose Your to let you through. Is dark. Only a light will reveal it, and you are not bright enough. Wow, again with the burn. Everybody, man. <laughs> Alright, we can uh we can do this. I think. Win the race against that dude. We just gotta run over there, cross the water. Do we have to, like, talk to the door, or do we just, uh... I imagine maybe it'll tell us to turn around. Why is everyone so re Seriously, though. Maybe it's that, uh, that, that dry sense of humor is all it is. You again? You didn't do too well last <clears throat> I didn't know where I was going last time. My first time in, uh, this whole place. First day in this whole place. Let's go. Oh, wait. I hit B, didn't I, instead of A. I'm an idiot. No, you're not. You again? <laughs> right then. Get to the demon. There it is. There's the timer. Maybe I just missed it last time. I don't know. Whatever. Go, go, go. I'm hoping it'll tell us to turn around at a certain point, because, uh... <laughs> I don't know, like, do we have to touch the demon door? Maybe we have to touch it. That makes sense. 50 seconds. There's no way. Oh, that's going to be close, man. 27, 26. I hope that's good enough. Could we just lie to the guy? Like, is there any... How's he gonna know if we actually made it all the way over there or not, you know? 12, 11, 10. I need longer legs. I'm too small. Go away. Go away, you. Uh, got it. No, you're not. Sorry. You're... No, what? No, I waved at you. We yes, stopped and waved at each other. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. I did perfectly fine last time. Don't run that way, dumbass. Camera is not working with me. I swear, if we don't get it this time. <laughs> gonna be fine why couldn't I just lie to the guy how can he even tell he can't see me he doesn't know where I am or how long it did or didn't take me to do the task that he's asking it also it would be awesome if the camera would turn around I can't hold the B button and turn the camera at the same time no oh, no I'm pretty sure we're even slower than last time Yep, nope, there's no way. We're gonna try one more time. Okay. There we go. Just gotta just gotta use my pointer finger to hold the B button so we can turn the camera with my right thumb. <laughs> and then maybe we don't have to literally touch it. Maybe we just have to get close and then turn around. Maybe that'll work. So, like, we get to, to there, and then we turn around. Hopefully that was good enough. It'd be nice if there was some sort of indicator, just anything. Okay, I'm pretty sure we're making decent time this time. 13, 12, yeah, we're a couple seconds ahead. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, you're not. That's amazing. There we How do. do yes. Yep. Hey, 25 gold. Very nice. Okay, and then uh, there's somebody else maybe inside this building that we can help. Somebody glowing green in here, maybe? Mm, or not. Maybe upstairs? Yeah, there we go. Oh. The journey's length is of no consequence. The oracle 
must be protected. How can you be so sure? We might need you here. Who knows what battles we might face? The signs are too strong to ignore, and the Northern Wastes have been too long isolated from the Guild. There is much I may learn there. Well, I hope nobody thinks you're running away from a fight, trying to cheat death again. You know how people talk. Talk is of no matter to me. May death close his eyes to you, Maze. That dude doesn't look creepy or anything. What are you waiting for? Come in. That was Scythe. He was a great hero once, back when he had flesh on his bones and blood in his veins. He's just a shell now. What does he know of the choices we have to make? Of what it takes to get things done? Seriously, like he... he looks like, uh... I don't know, with like all the pointed teeth and stuff like that? I was gonna say like uh, some sort of beast, but I, I can't even think of anything to link him to directly. I bet he's seen some stuff though, man. <laughs> If nothing else, he's probably got some good stories to tell. Here lies Delphi, once the most powerful sorceress in Albion. Though she dedicated most of her life to selfish pursuits and the torment of others, she later repented and renounced her most devastating powers for the good of the guild. Okay. Here rests the body of Holder, the great warrior who tamed the last dragon seen in Albion and rode it into countless battles. As commander of the Dragon Knights, he kept watch over all men and women of the southern lands. Those are coffins, right? <laughs> Is this going to be us? Is this going to be our coffin? Great way to hear a worthy of joining the legends who lie here. Yeah, I bet so. He's one of the greatest heroes and extremely powerful. Ooh, the, the, the weird looking one. <laughs> here are buried the remains of Sol Solcius, the legendary mage who sacrificed his own life while performing the greatest spell, closing a vortex that threatened in to engulf Bowerstone. Very cool. So yeah, my, my guess is that on our deathbed, we are going to be buried there with the rest of the great heroes of Albion. Also, yep. <laughs> Why would they place those there? That's just asking for grave robbers. Especially with all that gold and everything on top of it. Oh, this is our quarters. That's not where I wanted to go. Oh, another way to interact with people is to use expression. These simple action skills can be used from the menu in the same way as objects and will appear when appropriate new expressions are acquired through challenge changes in alignment renown and in other ways hello i didn't i didn't mean to do that I, i'm sorry I, I wanted to wave is what i wanted to do but it seems as though i i can't wave i can only burp fart and laugh that's all i know how to do i, I don't know how to do anything else i'm sorry <laughs> i didn't mean to pull out my stick that can stay in the pack. Gross, they're laughing at his burp. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. Yeah, that is what it uh, what it looks like, huh? Listen, can you help Searching me through out? containers is a good way to find handy items. Be careful you're planning on stealing from a house, okay? Got it. But I can't find any more red apples. I only need another four. If you find enough, can you bring them? You mean like these apples? Thanks. Thank you so much. The guildmaster will get his pie. You're welcome. Have this. Gold? No, blueberry pie. A tasty pie, good for your health too. Okay. I mean, by the time the next cutscene is done, I don't think that pie will be too good for us uh, anymore. Wait, wasn't the guildmaster just up in that tower? How is he back over here? I mean, I guess the dude can't teleport, so. <laughs> Never mind. You're tired. Your training is about to begin. But you have many hard years of tasks and preparations beforehand. Yep, leave our child behind. Let's go. The guild was now the boy's life. The memory of the Oakvale flames still scorched his mind. But soon he had no thought other than training, and he became stronger and more agile with every passing year. His days were filled with grueling exercises, the nights with study in the library. Finally, he was ready to become a guild apprentice, just as Maze had foreseen. The real training was about to begin. Get out of bed, lazy bones. 
We were supposed to meet the guildmaster on the other side of the river. But that was an hour ago. We better get going. Race you there. To run, press and hold the B button while the hero is moving. Yep, we know how to do that. But before we do that, we're going to take a quick break. It has been, uh, actually just over. You know what? Screw it. We're going to go a little bit longer. We've, uh, we've had a lot of breaks. And, uh, it'll be fine. A tiny bit of pre-roll won't kill us, I suppose. And I'm probably lost. Is this the right way? <laughs> this probably isn't the right way. Uh, can I? Nope, can't get out over there. Uh, hello? Having a race with somebody that doesn't know where they're going isn't fair. <laughs> I hope we weren't actually trying to race her, because otherwise we are screwed. Here we go. Surely there will be a door somewhere in the hall, right? Whoa, the glow up? You're not kidding. There we go. Okay, we found our way out. That's that's task number one. <laughs> yeah, now I'm uh, since we're so behind schedule, I'm just gonna go a little bit longer. We'll take our break closer to nine o'clock local time. Oh, hi, Whisper. You uh, you may have beat me here. You can put just a little bit. Stick away. We'll begin training with real weapons now. Ooh, what kind of real weapons? The weight of this sword, and let's see if you can hit Whisper with it. I mean. If you want me to. <laughs> but you're a wizard hero. <laughs> a functional, if weathered, sword wrapped in simple leather bindings and undecorated. Longsword is equally effective in defensive attacks and has... And defense and attack and has been a mainstay of heroes through Albion's long history. Very cool. Damage 30, so plus 10. We will equip it, uh, of course. Come on then. Let's see what you've got, farm boy. Oh, that sword is a lot bigger than I would have expected. How do I defend? Is that the best you've got? Now pay attention. Too easy. What I'm about to teach you could well save your life one day. The life of a hero is a dangerous one, and you must learn to block your enemy's attacks if you expect to live long. Whisper will try to hit you, but you can block her attacks with your sword. Not all blows can be blocked, but you should be able to handle anything Whisper can throw at you. Burn on her, maybe? <laughs> Press and hold down the Y button to block. While blocking, you can roll out the way of your enemy's attacks using L. Very cool, okay. So we're just we're just blocking right now, though, right? Like, dodging doesn't do anything, yeah. So I just, I just have to stand here. I can, though. Apparently. Well done. Now let's see if you can combine attack. Who is that dude? Holy crap! Ah, oh, hello, Thunder. Thunder, that's Echo befitting. Progress, have you? you could say that. Whisper told me you got a training with some farm boy. Maze thinks the boy has great enough to keep up with my Whisper. <laughs> well, why don't we see? Whisper and the boy are just working on their melee skills now. All right, children. Let's see who has learned the most in their training. So I just gotta beat her up. Barred, Julie. Just like your final <laughs> test. Prepare yourself. Thunder is a tall one. Also, again, rude. You're not kidding, man. Everybody's a little, a little rude here. Damn it! How did you stop that? How do I? Hold on. Oh, How rude. Shot. How do I... I was able to do a overhead attack before. Why can I not do that all of a sudden? Too easy. You need to practice more. Shame you couldn't see me fight in the arena. You might have learned a thing or two. Keep training if you want to go there yourself one day. I could have beaten him if you hadn't stopped us. We have few enough heroes as it is, without the two of you tearing each other apart in training. Speaking of which, meet me as I make my way to the archery range. When you're ready to continue your lesson. Yes, are we finally going to learn to shoot a bow? Melee performance. A couple of minor mistakes, but otherwise good work. Thank you. Assuming you're talking to me. Repeat melee continue. Then oh, don't repeat. By the archery range to continue your training. 
Yes. Teach me the ways of the bow, master. Also, you're very slow. Are Come on. Yes. Let's continue our training with the bow. The Yu Longbow. The weapon of archers in large armies. A Yu Longbow is long, resilient, and powerful. Equip that. To begin with, see if you can hit the three stationary targets. And put some effort into it. The longer you pull back your bowstring, the more damage you will cause. But make sure you stay within the circle. Okay. Press the left bumper button to unsheath your bow. As in melee combat, use the left trigger to lock onto a target. Press and hold down the X button to draw back the arrow. Release the button to fire. Okay, so sword, bow. And we can switch between the two at any time. Yep. Very cool. And then... Where's the circle that we're trying to stay in? Oh, it wants us to stay inside the, like, don't leave the, the circle around the area here is what it's saying. Okay. I thought, like, there was going to be some sort of, like, where we had to charge it up, but don't go over a certain well, amount. Done. Sort of minigame thing to it. I thought it was going to be something like that. most foes don't stand still. So let's see how you fare against moving targets. Can do. You have a minute to score as many points <clears> as you can. The front target is worth one point. The middle one is worth three. And the one at the back will score you nine points. Nice. And remember, the longer you pull back your bowstring, the more damage the shot will cause. Is there any more reason to... means more points. Oh, okay. But you have to balance power, firing rate, and accuracy. I say, is there any reason for more power here? But he answered that, I guess. Click the left button to switch between view modes. You can zoom in closer by clicking it again. As before, press and hold X for a few seconds to draw back the arrow. Instead of locking on, aim at a target oh, using man. the left button. No. Oh, no. Okay, so, hold on. Nope. Okay, there we go. I do not like... I do not like this. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Aiming with the left stick is not my forte. <laughs> I do not care for that. <laughs> I need to invert it too. I'm one of those weird people that use a uh, inverted camera, at least on the vertical axis. But it's fine. As long as we don't move from this one position, we'll be fine. I don't know how many points we needed to get, but surely I've gotten enough. Ah, oh, we missed. I thought we were going to have a perfect round. Excellent shooting, my lad. Do that in your skill test, and I'll be most impressed. Shall do. Okay. Uh, no. Continue. Next, we will learn about the ways of the will. Is that Speaking magic? When you're ready to continue with your training, I'll be heading to the island by the waterfall. I'm guessing ways of the will is magic. But first, let me, uh, like I said, invert that because. I uh, am lost otherwise. So we can pull that out and then we click left stick. Okay. Is there, there does appear to be drop. I don't want to shoot at anybody, but. And if we, or is there drop? I can't actually tell if there is or not. No, I don't think there is, at least not for some distance. So technically you can just rapid fire. But I, I imagine when you're actually fighting enemies that would do like next to no damage or anything though, so not what you're gonna want to do. That it is, says Nate, that it is. I I figured. I, I couldn't think of what else it would be at least. <laughs> Teach me the ways of magic, Mr. Guildmaster. It's time to learn about will powers. But you're a wizard we'll hero? by striking these strong dummies with lightning. Ooh, yes, please. All right. Let's see what you've got. Pull and hold the right trigger to access your will powers. Available powers will be displayed in the bottom right of the screen. Your power can be accessed this way using the right trigger button. To use your lightning power, press the X button. 
Oh, we have to hold it? Okay. That's it. See how many you can hit in half a minute. Only attack dummies that are facing the center of the island. You won't get any points for hitting one on the back. You will only waste valuable mana. Okay. Using your willpower depletes your mana. And once used, it takes time to replenish. Pretty standard magic system here. Gotcha. Quickly switch to another target when locked on. Partially release and then pull left trigger. Oh. Wait, what? Partially release and then... I'm trying. Uh Okay. <laughs> Seems like it's it's doing some sort of weird auto lock on thing and it's not letting me switch between targets the way he he suggested I'd be able to. So, <laughs> I'm a little confused on how that works to be honest. I was letting go of the left trigger and it wasn't doing anything. And by pulling the right trigger it was automatically targeting people. So, I don't know, Let's whatever. Try that again. Oh, I didn't mean to try it again. Oh well, it's whatever. To learn about yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so... Bright trigger. And then do we gently let go of that? No. Left bumper? Right bumper? No. Okay, yep, I have, I have no idea how this works. That's it. Oh, maybe maybe it's because I couldn't skip targets net yet. Okay. Nope. Okay, that's not letting me change targets. That's not letting me change targets. Hey, Mr. Noodle with the five bitch here. Thank you so much again, love. Okay. Yeah, I, I have no idea how this uh, target lock-on thing works. It uh, doesn't appear to work, honestly. Because <laughs> it's just automatically hopping from target to target. Maybe that was like a, a Fable versus uh, Fable Anniversary Edition change or something. Maybe it got broke, I don't know. But yeah, because I mean, it's automatically switching between targets for me. <laughs> All I'm doing is, is holding down the right trigger. Excellent use of magic. Well done. Thank you, and no, I do not want to do it again. Very good, lad. You have learned the three hero disciplines. We can now move on to your final test if you're ready. Or you can spend some more time exploring the guild. I would I like to explore the guild. About to go into the guild woods if you wish to join her. Sure. Uh or play with whisper. Play, play with well. whisper. I'll be in the map room when you're ready to continue. Very well indeed. And with that actually perfect timing, it is nine o'clock. So we're gonna go ahead and take our short break now while I stretch my legs, get a drink, and disable those pesky pre-roll ads. So we'll be back in just a couple minutes. Although right now in this day and age, a raspberry might be scarier than that, you know? <laughs> Blowing all them germs all over the place? Nah, you can't be doing that. You need to calm down with all that, man. I don't understand why it doesn't let you collect cookies from the beginning. Why it makes you do a certain amount of the level first. It's like, I already came through here, man. Let me just kick everything on my way through the first time. Alright, we got... What you you got a you got a key for us? Have you finally found me, Piglet? Yes, King, I have. He's in his playroom, but he's locked himself in and can't get out. Do you have the key? Oh dear. You said now, Piglet must sure not I've understand the pandemic. Obviously, the house. it's ridiculous, oh, man. Goodness, will you look at this mess? Rufus Piglet's left his spreading his germs everywhere. everywhere. Piglet, be a dear and gather them up while I look for the key. Oh, I'd be happy to. I like being helpful. So what, now we gotta find the key for you? You can't find it for yourself? What the heck, man? Everybody's so lazy, though. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to go here, please. 
Thank you. Christopher Robin, I need you. Cheer me up, please. Tell me everything's gonna be okay. Everything will be all right, Piglet. It's oh, thank you. you Cry every time. Oh, thank you, Christopher Robin. I, I, I feel better already. Cry every time. See, I kicked this stuff. You can't even tell me I didn't. I knew you were hiding cookies in here, Kanga. I am disappointed in you right now. Hiding these cookies from us. We were out there starving. In the cold. And you were just hiding cookies all over your house and wouldn't even let us eat them? Highly recommend the French toast bagels with butter and grape jelly on them. I don't think I've ever tried that, actually, Mr. Noodle. I don't even remember. Did I try the French toast bagels whenever we bought them? I don't even remember doing that, to be honest. <laughs> I must have, but I don't remember it. Come on, one more. Thank you. Just enough to do, do the thing. You don't think I did? Yeah, I don't think I did either. But that sounds so good. Yeah, it does. I uh, I personally really like cinnamon sugar, but specifically like uh, or uh, cinnamon sugar, yes, but also brown sugar and butter is what I was trying to say. I really like brown sugar and butter. I don't remember what she said about the, the heat. Yet, <laughs> Goodness, there are just so many cookies. Why don't you keep gathering them up while I continue? Uh, do we gotta get all of them? Hey, Mr. Noodle, uh, they shouldn't be out of stock. I double checked. There's a, like, a redemption limit of, like, 200 on those or something. So they should still be available to, to do. Well, they are? That is weird. Hydrate had two requests today. Complete all. Select complete. Maybe I, uh, maybe I, you know what? I bet I didn't, I accidentally didn't, uh, complete them. You can try it now if you like. There it goes. Oh, Nate Alistair redeemed hydrate. They might've just beat you to it. <laughs> I think maybe, maybe I accidentally, uh, maybe I accidentally, uh, uh, like I said, I, I forgot to mark off that I did it the last two times it was requested. So maybe there's like a limit to how many can be in the queue at one point, at one time. I bet you that's what it is. It just let, yeah, it just let Nate, so. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Noodle. <laughs> you can try it again in, uh, I think there's only a limit of, like, five minutes, uh, a whole time of, like, five minutes, so. Was testing and it went through. It's, it's fine. <laughs> Mr. Noodle can try again in five minutes if she wants. And a stretch? Well, I mean, we're supposed to be ending the break, guys, but okay, okay. I'm happy to do a little bit of stretch. Honestly, can always use a little stretching, especially after, uh, you know, basically sitting here for, how long have we been live? Eight hours now. Oh, man. All right. Especially the legs, you know. The rest of me is not too bad, but my legs are what gets worn out. Those aren't even popping up in chat for you like they used to. Well, like I was telling uh, Man Roo Roo Man <laughs> earlier, uh, what was it? Uh, Amazon, Amazon's web services, geez, if I could talk, was down earlier today again, like it was the other day. And Amazon web services, of course, also controls Twitch. So there's a decent chance that it has something to do with that. If I had to guess, um, they're they're experiencing some some difficulties because of that. So, yeah, maybe maybe that's why you're not seeing all the chat messages like you're supposed to, and uh, it's possible that's why Rue is having trouble with his uh, messages, not always typing out. It's been messing with your keyboard, not sending full messages, like how it cut off stretch. Yeah, exactly. So I imagine it has something to do with that. Something on Twitch's end, Amazon's end specifically. 
Cool. And so I don't get the cue full again. Let me make sure I mark off stretching as being complete. There we are. There we are. Let's get back into the game, shall we? We still got another just under an hour left of Fable. Hopefully we can get to adulthood in that time. I think we'll be able to. It's looking like we'll be able to. So I would like to see uh, kind of what the game proper ends up being like. But I'm also the type of... I'm a very thorough person at the same time. So <laughs> I struggle with the idea of not completing stuff here. Like all these green dots. I just can't leave them alone. Okay. Do you wish to get graded? No. I guess so. No, let's go into the woods first. Let's go into the woods, do whatever we can with Whisper out there first, and then we'll uh we'll talk to them and do all that stuff. Oh hey Whisper. Okay, let's go. I guess that's what we do from childhood until adulthood. That's just how we train. We just hunt beetles. <laughs> Ooh. Looks like we're an amazing pair. Do they do they see us? I think maybe they see us. This dude doesn't see us too well, though, apparently. <laughs> also, there's no music or anything. I think that may be an anniversary edition problem, though. Same with, like, I notice sometimes the the what the voice actors are trying to say gets cut off just randomly, too. Like, in the middle of these cutscenes. So I think that probably has something to do with the Anniversary Edition. I've read that there's some bugs and, and small problems. Nothing major, but I've heard there's little issues like that throughout the game. So, But it looks so good, and they apparently redid the interface. It's got the new controls from Fable 2 and 3. I don't know. It seemed worth it to me to upgrade to... Uh, what is that thing in the, the corner that's counting down up there? Huh. If you get top grade, you get an item. Very nice. Was that like, do we have to do this in a certain amount of time or something? Okay. Oh, whatever. Yep, let's do it. Let's get graded. If you manage an A+. Plus. Uh, how do we guard? Attack me. Ah, we got hit. I was hoping to do it without getting hit. What did we get? We got hit twice. That's an A. No, we want to do it again. Yeah, we'll do it again. A plus, come on, let's go. Let's gotta do it without getting hit this time. Come on, come at me. Ah, you suck, lady. A plus. Yes. We got it. Okay, so what did we get? Ah, new weapon. Very cool. A better sword? An iron katana. But you're a wizard hero? So that's like a progress towards an achievement, I'm guessing, because it keeps popping up. Simple but lethal sword is one of several imported into Albion from the Western lands. Following the fall of the Old Kingdom, the trade route collapsed, leaving this an exotic but deadly weapon. 
So it's it's just a sword, but it does a tiny bit more damage. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, I don't think we auto equipped it because I hit the wrong button. So let's go to equipment tab. We have no hat, gloves, any of that stuff. No, we don't want the stick or the. Okay, we want. Oh no, maybe we did already equip it then. Apprentice robes, lower boots, outfits, hooded apprentice outfit. Go to our stat screen, maybe? Yes, it's all the achievements are puns. <laughs> I am fine with that. Stat screen looks cool. We got a point in lightning. Cool. So these are all different spells that we can put points into, I assume. How puny. <laughs> Skills, okay. Logbook, map, quests, equipment. S stick, iron, longsword. So we must have it already equipped. Or do we not? I don't know. I'm confused. I don't see it anywhere. Maybe we don't get it until we grow up. It's the only other thing I can think of. Oh, well, let's do the other test. Starting when we fire our first shot. Okay, so we got time. Got to pull it out. Get our aim on here. It doesn't happen until we fire the first shot. So we can wait, take our time, and release. So all we got to do is keep hitting the one in the back. That's all we got to do. Very simple now. And release. I'm pretty sure we're going to get the A-plus on this one. Yeah, I mean, we still got 40 seconds to go. That one's going to get in the way. So we'll just hit it, whatever. Can we beat our last record, though? That's the question. We're aiming for 275 or better. How punny? <laughs> were you saying punny or puny? I guess that's punny, huh? I misread it. <laughs> that makes more sense. Nice. 270. Yep, we already beat it. We beat our last uh, record. And he said if we did that, then we would be in excellent shape for the test. So I think we got the A-plus on this one. Can we get one more? And nope. That's all right. That made it funny, too. <laughs> My screw-ups? Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> cool. We got a U crossbow. Oh, flexibility of U makes it good wood for crossbows as well as longbows. Very cool. Okay, equip. Okay, so it is equipped. So maybe we did equip the sword. I don't know. So how does this work any differently other than not having a uh, an animation there? <laughs> and obviously being more powerful. Okay, so it's got a little bit of a loading animation, but no pullback animation or anything. It uh, <laughs> looks a little odd, to be honest. All right, let's see if we can hit. Let's see if we can hit the thing though. Does it work the same as a bow? Otherwise, yeah, pretty much. Okay, very well. Just a bow with a with a glitched out uh, not hitbox, but a glitched out. Thing. <laughs> model. 3D model. That's what it's called. All right, let's do our magic test, I'm assuming. Yep. Okay. So get ready. We want to stand right about here and. Very cool. This is. We don't even have to do anything. We just hit the button and. Just more power and a little bit quicker. Is it quicker? I honestly didn't notice it being quicker. I'm sure you're right, though. You know much more about this game than I do. But yeah, it felt uh, it felt slower to me. Ah, no, we missed one. Oh, no. Now our timings are all screwed up. Oh, no. <laughs> Still got an A+. Plus. No problem. A will potion. A mind-expanding will boost it. 
Is that permanent or temporary? And a resurrection file. So that's death need not be the end. Resurrection is possible with this. Uh, yeah, because I'm the best, obviously. I am tempted. If I end up playing through this game in completion, I may end up playing it on the, the more difficult mode. But we'll see. We'll see on uh, what it ends up being. Like how hard of a time I end up having playing it on normal here first. Or chicken, I guess, is what it's called, not normal. Kind of rude, but okay. In the later games, they introduce guns. I think I've seen that. Because I watched a little bit of a friend play... Or did I watch... Maybe I watched it on YouTube? I don't remember, but I've seen a little bit of Fable 2 or 3, one or the other. Sorry, what? <laughs> Five gold for every sparrow, okay. Okay, so there's got to be a limit to the number of these things though, right? We can't just kill them forever. Can we, is there like a, a lock on? Can we just lock on? No. That's a sparrow. Here we go. Oh, nope. How do we shoot? <laughs> I've already forgot how the game works. What? Okay, I think maybe we need to get a little bit higher. Yeah, because we're like... Uh, get out of this. Oh, that's a zoom. That's how you zoom. Okay, let's try it from up here. Oh, okay. Zooming in lets us get more precise with it, too. That's nice. Trash. Oh, no, that actually hit him. Okay. Killed a sparrow. Can I go ahead and kill the other one now, too? Nope. Okay. Try again. Come on, just, just hit the thing. What? That was a hit. This is trash. Maybe I can only kill one at a time. Yeah, okay. Let's uh, let's go talk to the dude. Maybe it'll only let us do one at a time. Yeah, they are fun. Honestly, the progression of the story and setting is interesting throughout the series. Yes, I did. Can I find him? I know I can find more, but it wouldn't let me hit it. Trash. Try again. That was a sparrow, right? I'm not like, I'm not insane. That wasn't just a, a piece of the, the roof. Like, I don't know why it's not turning red. What? No, that was a hit. Come on. Why does it hate me? If I try from over here, maybe it's just a bad angle. <laughs> it hits full industrialization period in three. Yeah, like I said, I'm pretty sure... I don't remember which one it was, but I'm pretty sure I've seen some of two or three or, or one of them. Oh, wait, am I getting evil points for killing the sparrows? Because it looked like I got a couple of little devil horns there. I thought I was just helping some dude out. There's still more. Yeah, you know what? I don't know if I want to kill the sparrows, man. They seem nice. They didn't do anything to us. Yeah, they might poop a little bit every now and then, but come on. Birds gotta poop too. <laughs> Hello. Yeah? Yeah, what? Guildmaster? Uh, hello? Oh, he's right there. Hello? We should leave your teenage years behind and progress on to your final training. Yes, please. His home, his school, and his life. But as time passed, his thoughts returned always to the world outside. The life he had lost, the family that had been torn from him. At last, only the final day of tests remained. Success would mark the end of his training. He would receive the guild seal and be free to forge his own destiny. He would become a hero. Before you graduate, there is one final test you must complete. Yes, Master. Woods, 
and go to the log at the top of the hill. The test will be revealed to you there. Good luck. Well, if you haven't already seen, you don't have to wait long to see. <laughs> Not that much different. Just a little bit taller. His face maybe looks a little less odd. Maybe not, but uh... <laughs> that was some fancy shooting. Uh, man, that was years ago, literally. So we just had to go to the top of the log, okay? I mean, that doesn't sound like much of a final test, but what do I know? Wondering how you pass the final test, then? You looking kind of ugly, yeah. Must defeat me. Using all you've learned in your years of training. We'll begin with your sword. Hit me, if you can. Uh, hello? Oh, okay, he can... He can do stuff. Wait, what? We have to use the sword, right? Come on! Come on! There we go. We hit you. Is that all we had to do? Good. You're quick. Very good. Okay. Now, shoot hey, no teleporting. Way. Seriously, Don't though. Get too close. Is he going to teleport every time I try to shoot at him? Uh, okay. Where are you going, man? You got to you gotta pick somewhere. Can I just aim with that? Like... Wouldn't that be easier than trying to, to use the actual aiming? It's very weird that there's no uh, there's no animation for the <laughs> for the crossbow. It's very odd. It it feels wrong. <laughs> it almost makes the bow feel better, even though this is objectively the better weapon. It looks like ah, that's cheating. Where's he at? This is the easiest final test I think I've ever had. I wish my tests in school were this easy. I'm not going to move or anything. I'm just going to stand here and I need you to... <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Sir, what did I just say? You are... Yeah. He does not listen very well. And he's still doing it. Look at him. <laughs> well, we passed apparently. You will find real battles rather more fatal than this. You didn't even fight Perhaps back. You have passed your final test, and you're ready to receive your guild seal from the guild master. All right. Well, I guess that's all there was to that. <laughs> So, uh, Nate, if you're still around, if you can hear at the moment, is this game more, uh, like, open, or is it fairly closed? Like, is there a, a, a set path, a progression that you need to follow, like, story-wise and whatnot, or can you just kind of explore around, do things out of order, or whatever? The first night you came to us, and look at you now. Maze's faith in you was well-placed. Now, come along. The graduation ceremony will take place in the Chamber of Fate, oldest part of the guild gets a lot more open as the game progresses awesome love to hear that yeah it's a fun game the apprentices approach. try not to interrupt for many years now you have worked hard to earn yourselves the title of hero today that apprenticeship ends and you go out into the world to do great deeds deeds that will bring you the gratitude of thousands or strike fear into their hearts. These are dark times. The shadows of Albion are stirring, and strange winds are blowing. Your choices, whether they lead you down the path of good or evil, will change the face of the world. Now, take your guild seals and venture forth as heroes. It's cool that they let you play good or evil. Though, I, w I would like to play around with that. I don't generally play evil characters, though, is the problem. I'm a bit of a thief in it's games, but... <laughs> but you're still very much Whisper graduated, too! Yay! Go Whisper! I can still kick your ass, though. <laughs> and you'll need to return often to focus all your experience into new skills. 
Only by doing this regularly will you advance as a hero. Step into the light and I'll show you how to do this. Okay, so we come here to, to do our level ups. We collect experience, and then once we collect experience, we can channel that into different points here. That makes sense. Step into I'm okay with thieving, but I'm a good thief to... <laughs> exactly. That's that's 100%. You hit the, the nail on the head there, Rue. After this part, actually... Oh, yeah. I read that one. All right, so uh, physique. Physique dictates the force with force which... Words. Physique dictates the force with which you can swing a weapon, and thus the amount of damage you can cause. With greater strength also comes the ability to wield heavy weapons. Cool. The healthier you are, the more damage you can take. Your health attribute defines the length of your health bar. That's fair. Toughness is your basic resistance to damage, your natural armor. The tougher you are, the less damage you will take from each blow. Um, and we can... Can we do... Other stuff? We can. We have speed. That should be pretty... Self-explanatory. Your agility in combat giving you a better rate of fire with ranged weapons and also more dexterity in melee. Accuracy is precision. With that, Guile makes you more cunning, giving you the skills to barter with traders for better prices and an increased profit. You will also become more stealthy, making it easier to approach people and creatures without revealing your presence. That's cool. Oh, you can also learn the art of the thief. Imagine that. Like, I'll steal every coin you have, but I'll still help you chop wood if you need me to. Exactly! That's 100% it! That's exactly what it is. Always have a hard time doing an evil playthrough. You think the main time you even ended up with evil was from upping rent to get money needed for the best ending? That's <laughs> that's so so you can be a uh, you can be a, a landlord and if you overcharge people, that's considered evil. Honestly, fair. Like <laughs> that's in three though. The rent part is in all of them. Okay. Guile sounding pretty, pretty, uh, fun. Although I think the game just crashed again. It did. Okay, so not, not the most stable of games on PC, but. Let's, uh, let's launch it again. Thankfully, it has a pretty decent autosave system, it seems like. So I don't think we would have lost any progress here. Who doesn't hate landlords overcharging? A hundred percent, man. They're pretty evil people. <laughs> Microsoft Studios, made with Unreal. It's accurate, you ended up good. Something right after, because you made everything free. Ah, that's nice of you. Realized the error in your ways and gave everybody a couple free months, basically. <laughs> All right, continue game. I do like the the little opening thing here and how it transitions between the the main menu and the the it's world. Looks cool. All right, we can skip that. We saw that. Try this again. Maybe don't crash this time, game. If you don't mind. What was the last section? So here is where we can learn new spells and level them up, or can we not learn the new spells? Okay, it looks like we can't actually learn any of them. Only certain ones? Only certain ones, okay. So we probably have to, like, unlock the other ones in one way or another. Which, fair, honestly. Assassin Ratchet Spell propels the caster through space in the blink of an eye, and if a victim is targeted, the spell enables the caster to move behind this unfortunate un instantaneously. That's neat. So you can be, like, a battle mage in a way. Magic power, the more mana you have, the more energy you have for casting spells. Fair. That makes sense. Is, is there a cost? It is. It's up in the top right. And what do we have? How many points? Is there a way to see that anywhere? Oh, I guess each area has its own set of points then, huh? Yeah, for the hand, we have zero. For this, we have 96, which I imagine we... Well, I just accidentally bought speed level two. <laughs> oh, okay. I see the symbol up in the top right now. I see the symbol. So we have, uh, it costs 350 man points. <laughs> sure. Let's, uh, let's not buy another thing right away. So health, toughness. I actually wanted to get physique is what I planned on buying, but, uh, a little late now, I guess. Um... 
Spells are all pretty expensive. I doubt I can afford anything now that I accidentally wasted half of our points. You know, screw it. Let's go ahead and get Guile level 1. So we're not terrible at, uh... Oh, you can undo level ups. Switch to undo it. You will receive all of your experience back. Yeah, that's exactly what I want. Very cool. Okay. Awesome. Perfect. Okay, cool. So... First, let me uh, catch up with what everybody's been saying. Hey, your folks are paying twelve hundred a month for this place. Wow, that's insane. We got a pretty decent deal. I mean, where we live, rent isn't too too bad. It's not as bad as like living in any of the cities or anything, thankfully. Um, but honestly, our our landlord is pretty lenient with the the rent prices. There are some things that I wish would be fixed around the house. Nothing quite that bad. But we just have like a, a bad fence and a, a problem with our, our shower. Little things. Nothing that's like a make it or break it sort of deal. So I'm actually uh, pretty lucky in that regard. No need. The goal to prevent catastrophe was like everything handled and enjoyed living free. The magic in this one is probably the best. You mean between the three games? Well, yeah. I figured that's what you meant. When it comes to play style, you always aim for all about build. It's kind of keep it even is what you usually do. What's worse is this house was brand new when you moved in. The wind also shook it. To heck oh lord yeah you were mentioning like sandstorms and stuff earlier that's rough especially having a hole in the or not a hole but an unsealed window like that that stuff probably just blows right in i mean i imagine it's a small hole but even then you know small hole or not it's not exactly what you want so let's uh i'll play around with the magic a little bit more but i don't know i think i probably want to be more of a melee type build so i'm gonna unlock fireball just so i have another spell and then uh little else for me to teach you but we'll I'm go from there around to offer you guidance and your guild seal will allow me to communicate with you at all times you will also notice it flashing when you have enough experience to spend i have given you a basic pack of supplies it'll be enough for a while now there's a whole world for you to explore very cool. So we got a bunch of rewards. Two resurrection files, a lamp, health potion, will potion, an apple pie to go with our blueberry pie from 10 years ago or so. Uh, six gold, 60 head points. <laughs> I don't know what the heck that means, but okay. No boast taken. Okay. To take a quest, interact with the map table. Core story quests are highlighted with the weird looking Check icon there. For more quests. Why is there an echo? Yeah, your folks are wanting to move into a different place. Problem is your room is 11 by 8 here and your positive your room and that one would be smaller. Yeah, that's rough. That's rough. The It's pretty bad. I don't know about where you live, but in our area at least, the housing market is so jacked too. Like if we could get a loan to buy a house, we would be better off just doing that than renting. Because like the, the monthly mortgage payments are generally speaking lower than rent payments are, which is just terrible but what can you do i guess what does this do do you know what that does nate items 12 expression 7 social Ooh, okay so here's all our other stuff assigned to access useful items in game press in the press for your quick access menu Wait, what? <laughs> uh, this thing, that, where you hold down. You just hold down, and it's got, like, the quest-looking symbol. And then it slowly fills up and glows blue when you hold down on it? I have no idea. You have no idea. Russian dance. Well, yeah. <laughs> not that. That's not what I was asking about. But that's what I accidentally did. <laughs> And then, so we can set up quick items and expressions then. So stealth. Stealth seems like something that would be handy to equip, but I don't think we can. Assign to, well, I don't really care about the farting one so much, so can we assign it to that? Sure, okay, so we assign the dancing one to that now. Can't remember at the moment, you think it opens up your quest, okay. No, wait. I want to go back. I didn't want to assign it there. I want to assign it down. Assign to down. 
Now go back. Renown. Flirt. Ooh, I can be a flirt. Very cool. Okay, assign that to the left because I don't really plan on going around burping at people. And then I don't know what the right one does. I think that's the laughing one. So is there just like a regular wave? Follow, wait, giggle, belch, fart. Oh, I guess follow. Assign that up. No, wait. Why is it back to farting? <laughs> I... What? I do not understand this game at all. And Twitch is doing it. Wait. Oh, jeez. Can't remember. What, oh, gods. No, not annoy. <laughs> and Twitch is doing it again. Oh. Why can't I... So that's giggle. My giggle sounds completely different now. Oh, so that's only if I hold the right trigger, the quick hey. menu. Follow. Okay. Follow. Hey. <laughs> my my flirting is just me saying hey, hey. to people. <laughs> just hey. hey. Follow. <laughs> and follow. then I tell people to follow by just saying follow. Follow. <laughs> but at least I can do I can do a little right. dance though anytime I want, so that's good. <laughs> Anyways. It has been a half hour. Actually, it's been uh, nearly 40 minutes. So we're going to go ahead and do the stretch and hydrate. And then we're going to come back and play another, uh, probably a whole another half hour. And then we'll uh, finish off with some Ratchet and Clank after that. So going to go ahead and take a uh, quick two minute break. And then we will uh, be right back. And man, I love it. Like to this day, I still love it, you know? I don't need it as much anymore because the whole, I don't need a whole lot of sugar thing. I don't really need sugar. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I eat it every once in a while. I keep a bag of brown sugar around mostly for that. Piglet needs some adventure. He, I guess, man, help him grow that backbone or something. Love wheat toast. That's what I prefer too. Mr. Noodle likes white bread. So lame uncultured <laughs> let's get this face though man spend the what was it 70 80 tokens whatever it was or sorry not tokens cookies cookies they ain't take no tokens here grew up with it gross <laughs> what was that that was not a brave face <laughs> only kind of bread your dad would eat i mean that's fine, I guess, but... <laughs> but no. Weed is where it's at, though. Unless it was that Italian bread. Yeah, especially, like, the fresh-baked Italian breads. Those are pretty good. It's really cheap, too. Like, at Walmart or something like that, you can get a, a loaf of bread for, like, a dollar. Only problem is, since it's, you know, fresh bread, it goes bad pretty quick. So you always got to keep that in mind. I still don't know what we're collecting all these potions for. Oh, this is a map? Oh, look at this. It's already better than that last game we played. No. <laughs> you finish your potato? Oh, the, the leftovers. Okay, Mr. Noodle. Don't fall down the bread. Down the bread. Look. Look what you did to me. <laughs> don't fall down the bread. Don't fall down the stairs with your tote. If you don't think you can get it, let me know. I'll, I'll pause for a minute and help you out. <laughs> I don't want you hurting yourself. Oh, yeah, yeah, key. Key, that thing. I forgot. We have to actually use items. Better be. Mr. Noodle. We did I'm it! I saved you! You don't have to die in here alone anymore. How is your ball in a cloud? That doesn't sound legit. But it's missing a rung! Eeyore told me he has a piece of wood. Do you think you could use it to fix the ladder? I'm thinking that might not be a real cloud, man. Oh, goody, Piglet. Thank you. I'm not positive. 
Like, I could be wrong, but that might be a fake cloud right there. Hype. <laughs> hey, look at that. We got an eraser. Let's uh How not forget to turn the game audio back on this time, shall we? There we are. Let's lock that too before I forget. Okay. Perfect. Oh, helps if I uh, bring the game view back up. There we are. Oh, man. Needed that stretch. My legs are starting to starting to get worn out. I haven't sat in one spot this long in a long time. So let's uh let's pick a quest. Let's end it off with something cool to do, huh? We can do a wasp menace. That's part of the main quest line it looks like. And the picnic area infestation. Get 500 gold, 200 renown. Maximum number of boasts is zero. Okay. Snow troll attack. I That sounds a little hard, but... Oh, yeah, we need more renown level to do any of the other ones. Okay. So I guess uh, we just have to do wasp menace. I guess we don't have much else of a choice at the moment. Follow the region exits on your map to get to the location of your quest. Your inventory contains further details on any quests you have taken. Remember, press back at any time to see your current objective. Very helpful. Thank you. Can we talk to the guildmaster? Does he tell us anything? Okay, that's uh, some helpful information there. <laughs> oh, uh, so we have two different spells now, right? We do. Very cool. Okay, so we have Fireball and Lightning. Whatever those do, we do not know. Oh, is this a traitor? Following the gold markers on your map will lead you to your quest objective. There's a voice in my head. <laughs> I know there are. I'm trying to talk to the traitor. Alright, fine. Let's go. Guess I have to save you first. I'm hurrying. I'm right behind you, man. It's this way. It's this way. Okay, I, I'm following you. Don't worry. I haven't lost you. Make the voices go away, please. Ow. Thank you. What? What did you do? Oh, you took a bite of my ice cream. <laughs> Kill all the wasps in the picnic area. No bows taken. Okay. So, uh, shoot it with fire. Shoot it with fire. <laughs> no problem. Happy to help. Shoot it. Shoot it. Uh. <laughs> just, just shoot them all. My will energy is low. Okay, well then smack it with a sword. Whatever. <laughs> we got a will potion. Very cool. Are there any more? There is. Get him. And that's it, right? We saved everybody. We're amazing. The absolute best. We can steal some apple pie. <laughs> they actually killed a person. Looks like they may have killed a couple, man. Oh, and there's more. They came back. I kind of wish I had the saved my willpower. Your bow may prove useful against uh, queen. Yeah, so will my magic. Can I can I aim at the wasp queen maybe? Where are you aiming? What are you doing? But they are no match for your weapon. No match for my weapon indeed. Okay. Can I pull out my bow now and maybe aim at the giant thing <laughs> the wasp queen again. I'm trying to attack the wasp queen again I have to pull back my bow it's a little slow okay master <laughs> with a giant mama ugly bug you ain't kidding about that giant part especially things huge Yes, yes. Clap for me. What do I want her head for? What am I going to do with that? You become more renowned. The higher your renown level, the more your presence is acknowledged, celebrated, or even feared. 
To increase your renown further, perform quests, show off your quest trophies, and do as many heroic deeds as possible. All renown increases are displayed at the bottom of the screen with the face icon. You've received a new quest card. Very cool. I can collect all my experience points though, right? Remember to return the guild often to level up, raising the experience you have, or using the experience you have acquired. To level up, use your guild seal to teleport back to the guild and then walk into the experience spending area in the map room or whatever. Cool, cool. It's got a health potion. I think we know what that was. That's what you were going to ask. It's ugly as sin. <laughs> Some apples. Can we eat them, maybe? A standard beard. Okay, you have found a hairstyle card. Use this at your nearest barber to get the hairstyle illustrated on the card. Can we eat this one, maybe? Doesn't say. Maybe it's just something to barter with. Might as well collect everything. I'm a, I'm a bit of a hoarder in video games. I can't help it. I see stuff, I have to take it. Sundial was built to commemorate Jack's most famous victories in the Battle of the Bloody Harvest. A little bit of lore, world building, I like it. We can talk to these kind of folks. Hello again. Hello. Uh. Oh, I'm guessing that's what the the holding the down button is. That's the guild seal thing. Yeah, that teleports us back. And that's what it does. That makes sense. Seems all right. Very cool. Okay, now uh, get rid of that. And then can we go back into town? Because I would like to kind of talk to the trader and whatnot he here. Looking for you. He waits for you in the Barstone Tavern. Okay, that's fine, but I would like to talk to the trader maybe before I go anywhere, if if that's possible. Oh. Um, these folks may need some help Look here. At this filthy pile of rags. Okay. He really expects people to give him gold. Maybe he needs a little bit of help. Everybody needs some help sometimes. Well, if you want. I'll tell you something that'll really annoy you. What's that? Maybe uh, you could just give him gold. That's an option. An adventurer like yourself, but look at me now, begging to survive and getting bullied by this brat all the time. Yeah, you get rid of the bully. Able to get rid of him somehow. Anything will do. Use your imagination. Remember. I mean, I guess I could, like, you tell him to follow me. Bag. You know nothing of the world. Hey. <laughs> Just flirt with hey. him a little bit. Hey. He doesn't, follow. he doesn't. Follow. Fo fo follow? He doesn't, he doesn't want to follow. 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 I mean, can I just shoot him? <laughs> Ow, you lousy heroes are all the same. I was trying to do it as, like pacifist, you know, but that works too. I'm sure you'll make many friends in your travels. Perhaps we'll meet again, hero. Shoot him with a nice fireball. That'll get rid of him. No problem at all. Okay, that, this isn't really where I wanted to go, though. I was trying to get back to town, if you please. And actually, I kind of just wanted to give the beggar a little bit of gold. So I have plenty, don't I? You look rude. I don't know why, but I don't like you. <laughs> Guard to this town or whatever. Bowerstone South. Okay, so yeah, at this point, it looks like we can basically just go wherever we want. You're new here, aren't you? Maybe. What's it to you? We have some rules around here that you need to know about. Okay, I'm listening. Bowerstone is a peaceful town. Uh, I'll have to confiscate your weapons for now. What are you going to do about my magic, though? There are shops, inns, lots of different people, games, <laughs> all kinds of things. Why not pay the tavern a visit first? It's the building in front of you, just up the road from here. Oh. And keep an eye open for Lady Grey. Treat her with respect. She is the mayor, after all. Have a look around and enjoy your stay in Bowerstone. We can do that. Oh, and it just so happens this is where our quest was sending us as well. So, 
that works. I wanted to uh, speak to the market keeper, which is this guy, right? Yeah, Derek. Can I can I shop with you, maybe? I have a feeling we shouldn't mess with Lady Grey. I agree with you there. Does not seem like a good idea. Callus gates provide a quick way to travel around Albion. Once you have visited a region with a Callus gate, you can teleport there at any time. So fast travel. Very nice. Fast travel comes in handy. Let's, uh, we got a couple minutes left. Let's quickly see what this next quest entails. Mr. Maze. Been enjoying all the attention, have you? Yeah. Yes. I heard about your encounter with the Wasp Queen. Most of Bowerstone is talking about it. But, um, you shouldn't let that kind of thing go to your head. Uh, anyway, I wasn't, that's but... not why I called you here. You see, there are dark forces gathering. That put your giant insect to shame. Pray so, tell. How much do you remember of the night I took you to the guild? Of the raid on Oakfell? Not much, I wager. A most terrible night. I thought those bandits had killed your whole family. And that you were going to be next. But it seems there may have been another survivor. Your sister. Oh my gosh, she's evil now. It's only a rumor. And there's no way to be certain yet. But I thought you should know. And for pity's sake, boy, make sure you replace that basic equipment while you're here. For some reason, I feel like she's going to be raised as like an anti-hero guild, you know? Like we're in the Heroes Guild, she's in the anti-hero. And now there's going to be some sort of uh, face-off at some point. Woo, sis is alive! Also, sir, I remember it vividly. Yes, the images of my burning friends and family is forever ingrained into my mind. Thank you, actually. Uh, I try to forget about it, but, you know, just bring it up anytime. That's that's fine. <laughs> yeah, let's trade. What do you got? So, uh, you got stuff for various prices. <laughs> An iron pick hammer. That's kind of cool. Cost 97, damage 30. Well, ours is actually better than that. An iron great hammer, but that's going to be slow. And requires high physique level, so there's not much we can actually do with it. Technically, the steel axe is better than what we're using. Uh, so that's not bad. We could upgrade to that. We have 606 gold. I don't feel like we actually need to upgrade anything. I kind of want to run around with an obsidian cleaver, though. <laughs> I don't know why, but that just looks like a weapon that I want to use. All kinds of shops and stuff. Well, we could explore more, but honestly, at this point, I feel like we're going to have to go ahead and end the Fable portion of the stream, because um, I, I doubt we have enough time for another quest, and right now, the only thing we're doing is running around, so it seems like the perfect time to save, do a, a little bit of a break. I realize it's only been about 15 since the last one, but I got to switch everything over for Wretched and Clank. So it won't be a super long one, but I do need to go ahead and do that. So, uh, yeah, we're going to switch over to that and then be back for three hours of Ratchet and Clank before we wrap up the stream. Thank you again so much before I go, though, for everybody that's been here. Rue, especially, you've been here pretty much all day. And then, uh, of course, Nate and Mr. Noodle as well. Both of you have been here on and off all day as well, and I appreciate you all. And uh, the Dorseman, I don't think you're still around, but if you are... Even if it's just like audio in the background, you can hear me or whatever. Thank you, sir, for the uh, gift subs, for the sub yourself, and for, for joining the stream. So let's go ahead and take that break and then come on back for uh, Ratchet and Clank, shall we? Excellent. Should there be any paper about? Huh. Where might we find some paper that needs erased? I wonder. Man, I don't know. Anybody got any ideas? I'm stumped. <laughs> Why did the cookies go so far? I just, I just want to collect the cookies. <laughs> See, this game is basically like Jack and Daxter, man, right? Instead of catching all the, uh, or finding all the, the little orbs, what do they call them? The I don't even remember. But instead of finding them, you're just you're collecting cookies. But it's basically the same thing, right? Just walking around, having a nice adventure, staring down some some weird looking creatures, and 
collecting cookies. Like, it's basically what you do in Jack and Daxter. <laughs> I need to get that game soon for the PS2. I'm tempted to play it for the what a PS3 I think I have it for just because I kind of miss it. Is that what they're called, the Precursor Orbs? I remember the game's called Jack and Daxter the Precursor Legacy, but I couldn't remember what the actual orbs were called. Glue. Now erasers are most useful for erasing things, aren't they? Bruh, did you know erasers are used for erasing things? <laughs> like, I'm being a little bit sarcastic here, but if I was, like, five, this would be some killer gameplay right here, man. This would be a lot of fun, honestly. <laughs> like, because it's so pretty, and the gameplay is simplistic, but engaging enough. Like, I'm, I'm, what, 28 years old or whatever, and I'm not entirely bored right now. So it's, if I was, like, five and playing this, yeah, that wouldn't be too bad. I'm guessing Eeyore is going to be down this uh, dark and dusty road here. Being all depressed and whatnot, as Eeyore does. There's an awesome surprise in Jack 3 about the Precursors. I need to play them, man. Because I've only ever actually beat Jack 1, so... I don't think I've ever even played Jack 3. I've played some Jack 2, but I, I haven't beaten it, though. Oh man, look at that combo. Had to press four buttons that time. That was tough. Alright. This game takes skill. I'm scared if we press X on that interactable object, we'll lose our potion. And I'd, I'd hate to do that. Yo, there's a sliding animation if you're moving too fast and turn around real quickly. Look, 10 out of 10 gameplay right there. Okay, it dropped a thing, but why? Are we making like a path for us to go up in there with or something? Oh, are we building Eeyore a house? Yeah, Nate, so, yeah, I mean, it seems like it'll be pretty good. The beginning of the game, obviously, a little bit of a slower start. Not, like, insanely slow or anything like that. Um, and the only problem I've had so far is just with the oddities in locking on to stuff, right? Like, it not wanting to lock on to the, the Wasp Queen for me to attack her. That was strange. And then, like, the, uh... It telling me to to pulse the button to lock on to the uh, or to switch targets to to pulse L two and that just not doing anything, but it automatically switching between targets, little things like that. But as far as like actual gameplay goes, uh, and and story wise, yeah, it seems pretty decent to be honest with you. I'm happy with it so far, no complaints, and uh, I'm definitely willing to play more of it. I don't want to. If, if people want to see it on stream, I'm perfectly fine with doing that, but I definitely want to beat a PS2 game after doing Ratchet and Clank, because I mean, I'm, I'm going to finish Lord of the Rings first, and then I'm going to do Ratchet and Clank on stream. I already know I want to do that, because I, I want to play through that, and it's a game I've been super excited for for a long time. And then after Ratchet and Clank, I, I want to do a PS2 game, because that's is the focus of the channel right now, trying to collect and stream all of the PS2 stuff, which... uh. Yeah, obviously that's the the PS2 gauntlet for anybody that doesn't know. I haven't shouted it out in a little while, but uh, there's a, a link to more about that and everything. Anyways, um, but yeah, no, it, it's something that I'm definitely willing to play. And if that's what people want to watch on stream, then so be it, man. I'm willing to do that here whenever we get through the other games that we're playing through. <laughs> and if people don't want to watch it on stream, it's probably a game that I'll play offline because... Uh, yeah, very fun. Seems like it'll be a lot of fun. I still, I just wish that Fable 2 was on PC. Because being a, a mainly a PC player, it, uh, it'll suck having to play one on console and then the other two on PC. Let's switch to the game view there. 
I think I want to make the text just a little bit smaller, actually, on the 16 by 9 game view here. That's uh, maybe a tiny bit too small, but I don't know. That looks okay. We're going to go for that. It's going to end up looking like crap on YouTube whenever uh, the compression happens, but I want to be able to see a little bit more of the game. I should have done that for... Uh, Fable as well, but yeah. Oh well, too late now. They also make a lot of quality of life adjustments in two and three. Yeah, and I mean, I'm sure those ones will be even better in in a lot of ways. I've heard a lot of people like Fable One, uh, because of its quirkiness and whatnot. But yeah, you agree too, because you agree cause two is your favorite, and you love the way they did inventory in three. <clears throat> yeah, I, I want to play them all, and it's one of the few games that has always made me want to get an Xbox. Because the only game series I've ever been interested in and on Xbox, honestly, is Fable and Gears, right? I, I don't care that much about the lore of Halo or anything like that. I want to try getting into it again now uh, that more games have come out and Halo Infinite looks good and everything. Plus, I haven't tried the games really in a long time since... Uh, I guess around the time the fourth Halo game was coming out was the last time I really tried one. Because I, I just didn't get that into three. Um, but but Gears I've always been interested in and not really... Um, but never really played. And then Fable I've always been interested in but, but never got the chance to play. Halo I owned on the original Xbox and I loved one. Two was pretty decent but like I said didn't really get that into three. And then, uh, oh yeah, Jet Set Radio was a lot of fun on the original Xbox, but, I mean, yeah, that's what, three games, you know? So, that's why I've always been more of a PlayStation guy, because I, I just care more about the games on PlayStation. And then for, it makes it even harder to justify a Xbox to me now, because all the Microsoft games come out on PC. All the ones exclusive to, uh... To, to to Xbox come out on PC as well. So like going back now and buying an Xbox One or an Xbox Series or whatever, it's just really hard to justify the price of it whenever I can just buy the same game on PC. It's like, you know? But I, I, I still will get them eventually because I collect game consoles. So sooner or later. Plus I do, as I've mentioned before, have a couple Xbox 360s. I just gotta do some work on them to see if I can get them working properly and if that's the case then backwards compatibility for the couple games that i want to play will be real nice mm. all right check the stream everything looks okay light levels and everything are looking pretty good let's turn the uh the the game audio on here uh, let's turn it up a little bit. Might end up having to turn it down. I guess we'll see. Shall we get into it? 